junk. <clears throat> say to me what do you expect me to say I'm very impressed I do not need your praise initiate for decades I have served the master he found me when I was a lava and saw that I was strong in the force against the Empire's traditions he trained me this is the way of Revan to teach all species the path to power what's your point exactly it is something you must consider if you are to be a Revanite it will shape you change you. Now you will answer a question. And you will answer well, or face the claws of my pets. Why do you think Revan trained aliens in the ways of the Sith? Why did Revan offer power to all seekers? Revan knew that servants are more useful when they're powerful. You answer well. You answer wisely. You speak like a true Revanite. You may proceed on your pilgrimage and seek work in the eyes of the <sighs> on how to deal with this guy. No. You will do this on your own. Seek the mercenary called Setafar as she teaches her soldiers. Then shall your trial continue. Cool. Mm, no, this way. Morin. Raymond contacted me from the base. Said you wanted to join our society. Is it true? Should we be discussing this in public? My people won't talk. And I've swept the area. Fine. Narkin. Yes. With Raymond. It's true. I'm seeking the approval of the inner circle. I'm called <laughs> Set Afar. To teach these mercenaries how to fight. My service to the master is a matter of honor. Centuries ago, my clan fought Revan when we invaded the Republic <clears throat> with the rest of the Mandalorians. It was our privilege to battle Jedi. We lost the war over Mount Four Five, but that was a privilege too. It's out of respect for Revan that I agreed to join the Master. You're weak and a fool. I'm bound by blood and honor. That's the Mandalorian way. I serve the order to ensure Revan's name isn't forgotten. Revan was a warrior, a leader, and deserves to be remembered. Since you're not bound by honor, how do I know you won't sully the Dark Lord's memory? What can you do for the Order in Revan's name? I can unlock the secrets of Revan's power. Is that so? Fine. You want to say garbage like that? You can prove you're worth my time. I sent out a squad of clansmen to hunt the local wildlife. They're camped nearby. 
defeat them or get yourself killed. And don't worry. Talking here will make sure they know you're coming. Yes, Commander. <laughs> <clears throat> Fine, we're going this way. So like someone's ahead of me. Well, that was easy. <clears throat> Ooh, let's fight this guy. No idea what you just said, dude. Revan earned the respect of my grandfathers and grandmothers by defeating them in battle. Now you've earned mine. You're not Revan. Not yet, at least. But you're something. You've got my approval to join the Order. Are we finished? I'm finished, you're not. You'll need to talk to one more person before you head back to the compound. Find Major Pathel. He oversees security on the wall. I'll be there in but a moment. Glory to Mandalore, and glory to our master. Strange lady. Now I'll run there. <coughs> I'll be quick and fast travel stop this. Take me there. Oh shush. my time. I'm here about initiation. Of course. We both have business outside the Revanites to get back to. I don't know how your other meetings went, but I like to conduct these interviews informally. No point making your life difficult here. Eh? Quite a few initiates, young officers, acolytes and the like, think our secret society will help them become moths or dark lords. You're not like that, I presume. Is there something wrong with wanting authority? Not a thing. But you've got to seize it for yourself. And I'm confident you can do that without the Order's help. Not every initiate realizes that advancement in the Revanites does not guarantee advancement in the Empire, nor how dangerous being a Revanite really is. The Dark Council seeks to root us out. So, how do we respond? How do we answer the Empire's accusations of heresy? our enemies the truth and we will whatever we can not to say we shouldn't defend ourselves but we won't become traitors to the empire either that's all i needed to make my judgment i'm going to send a message to the compound raymond will be waiting for you does this mean my trial's done well that's not for me to say but i have a good feeling about you journey safely and be proud to be a part of the order of raven
Put something, give me a second. Reading something here, guys. All right. <clears throat> so you finished the pilgrimage? Not bad. I don't know what happened out there. It's none of my business. But the inner circle approves of your initiation. How often do initiates fail? Honestly, if you can survive the pilgrimage, you're probably a worthy initiate. But a lot of initiates don't survive at all. You did good in this trial. Now you'll have to find someone else to show you the next stage of the journey. Excellent. <laughs> My initiation will be over soon. Good luck. Every step brings you closer to the master. Well, you really made it, didn't you? I've been hearing a lot about your progress, hearing about your trials. Your initiation has not been an easy one, but you've met the challenge and showed you can walk Revan's path. Now you may undergo the final rite. Is this where I speak to the Master? Yes, you've earned your audience. The Master will complete your lessons, and you'll be welcomed as a full member of the Order of Revan. This is a great privilege. The Master reveals himself to no one outside the Order. Where do I find him? You may go to the master in his chamber. He'll be waiting for you. Listen to him. Obey him. Through the master, you will know the path of Revan. this all about? I don't understand. This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadow. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge is over. Know me for who I am. I thought the Master was a man. The rule serves its purpose. Besides, it felt appropriate. Revan's own gender is unclear in many of our records. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council values. What makes the Order such a threat? Revan came to Drummond Pass after being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. You really think Revan replaced the Emperor? I do. It's the only way the puzzle pieces fit. I have heard whispers in the Citadel. For decades, the Emperor has been in seclusion. The Dark Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. 
The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away. Seizing power for themselves, they seek to silence us because we know. I think I've heard enough conspiracy theories. It's difficult, I know, to think that our great emperor suffers. But I would ask you for your help. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revanite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. Why would he believe me? I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. Tell him you stole it from his master while among the Revanites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, Lee, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. But I thought I was part of the Order. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path a rebel on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. slave turned master. You return from having your ears filled with lies by the Revanites. I do not envy you the experience. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? She's a Sith Lord. Dark-skinned with black hair and tattoos. I know her. I know her. Yes! Tari Darkspanner. My master knows her. We will use her. The Dark Council will strip her of her power, her mind, and her life. That makes a certain sense. I promised you a reward in the name of Darth Janus, so you shall have it. You have served the Empire well. Thanks to you, we have the means to obliterate this society of heretics. The name of Revan will be spoken on Drummond Pass no more. All history is eventually devoured by darkness. You speak truly. Hear me now. It is time to put Darth Charnas's plans into action. instruct you. I sense you will go far. Perfect. 
Then the time to do the deed is now. Scotia is in his chambers as we speak. Be ready, even with the power you have over him, he will be a frightful sight. Set your nerves of cortosis. Turn your fear into hatred. Remember, Scotia stands between us and glory. Let's get to the killing. Good. Now listen closely. This is how you will kill Scotia. The relic you found under the Colossus is the key to Scotia's power over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Go to Scotia's chambers and show them the relic. The Trandoshans should stand down, or attack him or something. The confusion should be enough. This is the first step. You don't know what will happen? Like I said, the confusion should be enough. You'll have to improvise the particulars. That's what makes it fun. With the bodyguards gone, we can get close enough to Scotia to use the prototype you stole from Grathens. But be mindful. Scotia may be more machine than man, but he's no weakling in the Force. Killing him will still be a challenge. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't. Oh, I wish I could be there to see the contortions on Scotia's malformed face when you destroy him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm due to make an appearance at a party in the Nexus Room Cantina. Meet me there when you're done. I don't know which one I go with because I'm not gonna put it on because I've got better pants as it is. First room. be sending my bodyguards away now, or maybe you'll order them to kill me. You're free to leave any time. Zash, Zash, you killed. 
killed me. No blame, Zash. This is all me. Mindless. You don't know what Zash can do. Think. Think of how many years she must have spent plotting my death. She will kill you. Just like she's killed me. If that day comes, I'll be ready for her. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Oh, shut up. Wait, so she's this way. You think you feel better than me? Why? Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> My headset just keeps playing up on me. I stop it! Shoo! Uh, how are you today anyway? You feel better than me? Okay. I'm guessing that means there's something good happening today? Because of computer problems. It's not my computer, it's my headset. I stood on, I rolled my wheelchair on the plug of it and it's barely hanging onto it. So every time it, any sort of movement, it delodges it and then it makes it make the noise. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. headphones yeah She's a magician. Thank you, Emperor. You've arrived. It doesn't matter how much one. These parties are just dull, 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 dull. I hope you've come to cheer me up. I have done as you wished and killed the Darth. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. You have performed magnificently, Apprentice. None of this would have been possible without you. Yep. Lord Zash. Darth Vanaton. I'm honored. Uh, yes. I'll just let you two chat. Don't go anywhere just yet, Apprentice. This call won't take long, and I have some further instructions for you. As I said, my lord, I'm honored. But why call me? You have nerve, Zash. Nerve. 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 Darth Vanaton. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Don't play ignorant with me, Zash. Scotia's dead, and you killed him. Scotia? Dead? Oh, that's the first I've heard of it. When did this happen? Just now, Zash, and you know it. What did you expect to gain? His position? His title? You know it doesn't work that way. Where's your discretion? Discretion? Now, I've been at this party for ages. Now, I may have had a little much to drink, but I'm fairly certain I haven't murdered anyone. Though I have always fancied Scotia's chambers, 
so much more shelled space. Ash, I don't want to have this conversation by Hollow. Report to my chambers immediately. Yes, Darth Thanaton. It'll be my pleasure. Looks like you have a meeting to get to. Give me time to talk to Thanaton and then meet me in Darth Scotia's chambers. And don't worry. You played your part, now it's time for me to play mine. We did it, Apprentice. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna move the screen over a bit more. There. <sighs> I once did that and jumped off an elevator and it instantly killed me. <laughs> Felt so stupid afterwards. Where am I going? Hang on. This way. Um, this way. No, this way. I think it really matters, to be honest. Already tired. Not. I'm always tired. <sighs> it's only 5 p.m. though, so I'm not going to sleep. It's early to sleep. Exactly. Way too early to go to sleep. <sighs> no, I don't want the galaxy map. I want the world map. No, oh, whatever. Pretty sure this is the part where I get my Oh look, we have a girl. There, there she is. It's Lord Zash's apprentice. Surely she knows. You wouldn't tell us if she did. Warpain's brigand is with Buidan. Still, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Then let it rest. I will not let it rest. Everyone knows Lord Zash was at the party when Scotia was killed, and yet everyone knows she killed him. We somehow devised a way of being in two places at once. If I let it rest, we'll all be dead. Don't be silly. I'm the one who killed Scotia. Now you're the one who's being silly. I wouldn't underestimate her, Colonel. She looks dangerous enough to me. What, a dark lord of the Sith? She's only an apprentice, Calaveras. Please, you must tell me. How did Zash kill Darth Scotia? How many times do I have to say it? It was me, 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 me. Fine, let's fix this up. Zash is innocent. Clearly she's not gonna tell you, Kieran. Let it rest. Fine then, fine. But I'm warning you, Calaveras. Lord Zash is becoming too powerful too quickly. Since when has anyone in the history of the Sith committed a murder so brazenly, yet made it appear that she was somewhere else the entire time? It's enough to wake the Emperor, I tell you. <laughs> me, 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 me. Timing apprentice. I just met with that insufferable Thanaton, and I have good news. Everyone's talking about how you killed Scotia. Good. Let them talk. They can't prove anything, and it'll drive them mad. And my meeting went exactly as I planned. You would have been proud of me. I went into a reprimand, but I emerged a Darth. Do I get a promotion too? 
for now you remain my capable apprentice. However, a dog can raise an apprentice to a lord, so your prospects just improved. Remember the map we found on Korriban that pointed us to the power of Tulak Horde? The first piece of that artifact, that power, is here on Dromund Kaas. This piece is in the deepest chamber of the Dark Temple. Scotia always hoarded the key to the chamber like a hut hoards his credits. Now I have Scotia's title, his chambers, his research, and his key. He always said I would enter the Dark Temple over his rusting corpse. However, I won't be the one to go into the Dark Temple. You will. Why me? Before I went to Korriban to choose an apprentice, a furious apparition awakened in the Dark Temple, implacable in its anger, murdering all who trespassed on the innermost chamber. But I had a dream. An apprentice of low origin humbled himself, or herself as it happened, before the apparition, pacifying it. That's why you and your peers were chosen. I wouldn't put so much faith in dreams. Dreams are when the Force speaks to us most loudly. I believe what I have foreseen. You must go into the temple and face the apparition. And when you do, I believe that your humility... He's like my uncle or something. Still, I want you to know, I'm not certain you're the one for my dream. I fear I may be sending you to your death. You're a Sith. Start acting like one. You're right. You retrieved the holocron from Korriban when no one else could. If that's not proof of your destiny, I don't know what is. Ancestor. What? They're related! We must not lose sight of this goal. Use this clip to enter the innermost chamber of the dark. It could be my great 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 uncle, for all I know. The piece of the artifact. Well then I'm gonna be better than the great Tulak Horde. Uh where that one. Come here. Tomato tomato. Potato potato. 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 Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Oh, going the wrong way. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Feeling it is. Oh, it already told me it's this one. Enjoy your stay. I sell these. I could probably delete these actually. Because what I can do is get them back anyway. Yeah, it's still Actor's outfit. <laughs> because I already bought it, it should be still on the character. So I should be able to read down later. Oh boy. Which is the way. 
Um. I've sent three separate expeditions into the Dark Temple. Not one has returned. I uh -oh. can't say for sure what's going on. But people who go in there, they don't come back. And here I thought bravery was a crime of the Imperial military. Maybe if you think being scared of something that kills Sith is unreasonable. You can survive the Dark Temple. I beg you to do me, and more importantly, the Empire a favor. The expeditions I sent in were looking for specific data. I can spare the manpower. They were slaves, mostly. But the data is essential. What do you want me to do? I'd like you to find the slaves from the expeditions and bring back any data you recover. The slaves from the expeditions were equipped with data pads to store the data they collected. Bring back those data pads. This information's vital to future construction on Dromen Cast. It's not Romans. Will you help? I wouldn't call it a challenge, but it seems straightforward. Amazing. Fantastic. Your help is invaluable. I'll mark the location the expedition last signaled from on your map. It's the best I can do. Hmm, interesting. Ow! A moron. At last, the Dark Council has answered my petitions and sent a fine young Sith to help secure the temple. I'm just here to check the plumbing. Of course, I've been ignored again. How stupid of me. If you're here, however, you must have the authority to enter the Dark Temple. You could still save this planet. What are you babbling about, old man? You're a brave one, aren't you? Or is it that you sense my weakness? But not everything grows weaker with age. The Dark Temple is ancient, built during a previous incarnation of our empire. A thousand years ago, our own emperor buried his enemies here. These enemies remain powerful, even in death, which is why the temple was sealed. But now, something terrible has happened. Some idiot went and woke them up. With the Emperor's attention elsewhere, a group of ambitious but ignorant Sith thought to gain power by raiding the temple. They didn't find the relics they sought. Instead, they awoke an ancient Sith Lord, Lord Kallig, and their expedition plunged into madness. Are they still in there? The ones who still live, yes. Because Lord Kelly died by <coughs> ambush, I believe he awakened unaware of his own death. And his expectations became reality. For those around him, his power overwhelmed all inside the temple. And even now, the workers plot wars against each other, believing themselves Sith Lords, and drawing terrible power from Kelly himself. What do you want me to do? I care not about the fighting itself, only what it may cause. There are still more ancient Sith Lords whose spirits lay dormant in the temple. If the ancient Sith Lords awoken by the violence within, they could overrun Dromund Kars. Let's keep them napping. I have studied all of the burial chambers within. Each was made with the same ancient... <laughs> are you planning to do all the planet quests? Oh, no, maybe. No. Hinges on each tomb door. Even a violent assault should not be able to wake the ancients. What exactly does this entail? The team I sent in earlier was using a massive metal torch. Effective, but slow, I'm afraid. They did not make it far. The torch must be recovered, and the doors of the ancients sealed. Okay. Very well. I will not have an among of lives watch you. I am so confused on what you meant with that. Can you say that in English a little please?
That's hard for you. Uh, Google Translate. He isn't my friend. <laughs> Basically, I'm guessing you're saying is you don't like side quests, you prefer the main quest. Is that what you're getting at? dude you took it out of my competition with me uh, I can always go on my other account and um, play the Sith Marauder that's the one I don't do it's quite long eh, can be I do plan to make a series on every single mission so If you enjoy it. I enjoy both. <sighs> yeah, I'll be doing this one every single mission and then all my other quests so I'm basically skipping through it unless it's the main story. But less side quests. I think this is like the last of the side quests anyway, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, I think this is the last of the side quests we got left until the next uh, planet. But, but I don't think there are. I'm pretty sure the that quest, um, the Raven quest is a main story type thing. So they have the purple um, priority mission thing, thing. So it's probably one of the other side main stories. So usually when I do, um, I usually do both purples. And plus, these missions are on the way. I'll do these three in the same room anyway. It's like I'm ch going to different parts of the island. But I got mail. Can't read mail. <sighs> no, don't sell them. Mm -mm -mm. They've got a quest here. We have a quest here. We have a quest there. Ironically, that one's going to be the harder one. Alright, I'll go to here, do this quest. And I'll do that quest. <laughs> All planet quests aren't funny. That's what I plan to do. I think the best is about the top. About the top. Okay. It's 
start doing the missions. Do you dare approach the great Nil Venerous Lord of the Sith, Master of the Undying Darkness? Answer me. What insolence brings you to this place, slave? Mm. You don't look like a Sith Lord, and you wear a slave collar. What? You're not afraid of me. You aren't a mindless puppet like the rest of them. I, I don't understand. I still have my senses, but someone here is out of his. You're right. I was out of my senses, but, but not anymore. I... I was part of an expedition sent by the Empire to measure strange activity in the Dark Temple. But soon after we entered, we all became different people. I became the mighty Lord Venerous, and the others became my obedient followers and servants. Wait, you said you were part of an expedition? We were gathering data for the Empire, and then we were all suddenly possessed. It's strange that you seem to be unaffected. In fact, it's strange to find you here at all. I thought the Imperials gave up sending people in here. What exactly are you doing here? I was sent after your expedition. So the Imperials haven't given up on getting their precious data after all. This is lucky. You see, ever since I came to my senses, I've been worried that my followers will begin to doubt my leadership. I can't lose my power. I can't go back to being a slave. But maybe, maybe we can help each other. It wouldn't be hard for me to eliminate you and your followers. I guess that's true. Except, except I'm the only one who could make all the others turn in their data. All, all I ask is that you find the symbols of Lord Venerous's power. They were looted from his tomb by the people possessed by Venerous's enemies. The symbols will help me reinforce my father's <laughs> belief in you. Lock them in their dream. It seems you've only left me the one option if I want that data. Please, just think a while about my offer. Never again. Venerous's old enemies will put up a good fight. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do this quest. These two quests. Um, and then we'll see what happens. But I may start the other stream up. Once um, we get our ship. <sighs> That's annoying me. Heavy troopers are the ones that give me that. GI. <laughs> you believe I can reach the stars?
Hi, Lord Parcel. Or whatever. I'm gonna blow up? Okay. Oh. Never mind. Where's my speed? What do you mean? Oh, the full speed. Yeah, that one. How's he wearing? More than 63 years since this hologram was made. Have the Sith truly lived in fear of me for so long? Why should the Sith fear you? It is what the Sith do. Their passions, their fear especially, feed their power. A power that inspires yet more fear. Like so many before me, I challenged the Emperor that was buried in this temple. Fortunately, I had just enough time to make this. An interactive image that would transmit my secrets to whomever was bold enough to find my tool and unlock it. Actually, I was trying to seal up this door for good. Then it's true. The Sith's. No. Hello, strength. I unlocked your tomb, so start transmitting. Patience. And the worst one. Clear. The way of the Sith lies in channeling the Force through the use of powerful emotions. Fear is the chief of these. The Sith feed on palpable dread. I am a master of Sith philosophy, and you presume to teach me. It's a lie. Fear is a lie. Passion, a lie. Fear gives temporary power, and passion is easily manipulated. Real strength in the force comes when one is no longer afraid. One can purge fear when one stops grasping. After power, after things, after life itself, and allows the force to guide him. There is only the force. It's nothing like the Sith philosophy I've heard about. Sith philosophy claims to break its followers' chains, but instead traps them in their own fear. Mm. What I learned only get wrong through this image and its device. Yet I am one with the force. Eternal and at peace. Take them. Take my teachings to the Sith. They will find power there, but a different kind. Not of darkness, but light. The world must know what you've learned. Nope. Oh, shut it. Oh, I can't jump off. Yay. Wee! Ow. 
Oh, that hurt. Spies reports that you crushed my enemies underfoot and found the symbols of power I requested. We have a deal. I expect you to honor it. I had not forgotten. I too have been very busy. Is the data my servants collected before the temple transformed them? Let the Empire make of it what they will. I hope your face never spoils my view again. Actually, that reminds me. There's one last itty-bitty little thing you can do. You see, power is useless without subject. Hey! So, I'll be grateful. When you turn in the data, you'd encourage the Imperials to send more expeditions my way. Yeah, I probably can. Uh... I will consider this. I can assure you, my gratitude, if you send more slaves to be my followers, will not be insubstantial. Yeah, not gonna happen. Uh, right. Yeah, outside, okay. Alright, let's do the last quest in here, which is the opening the chamber doors to see our relative. Ancestor, still a relative. Uh, what's up, everyone? I am on mm, one of them. I just keep forgetting what it's called. The one I was on yesterday. <laughs> what it's called? Um. Do you know? I'd have to tap out to look. Yeah. You know, I just have to exit out. It's not Darth. Too lot of cord. It's not server called Too Lock It's Darth, whatever it is. And then there's another one, and then there's another one. An English one, I know for a fact. I just don't know which one. Uh, hang on. Oh no, he's gonna wake up there. I need to go somewhere. They're not gonna wake up. Here. Alright, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm on. Oh, Starforge. You just started a character there? Because all your characters are... Well, I think it's over and done with. She'll either come up or do something and I can't come through can we? Nope. Uh, Harpy killer. Ah, uh, that was two of them. God damn it. Just kill them both for me. I have one character here and one character on... Um, the other one, the others. Sean. I have another character on Sean. Alright, now you can get my knee. I think it's the most active one. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, that's my second account. 
Play on two. Oh, look, it's my ancestor. Hi, ancestor. Ow. I was crazy. Do not mock me, child. You do not even begin to understand who you are dealing with. Yeah, there's two of them. In the weaklings of this planet which yes. passed my tomb, I rose, resuming my former life. This temple became my kingdom, and I was once more the lord of the Sith. Wow, I can't. When you first grasped the hilt of your lightsaber. Less about our bloodline. Oh, think of the words of power in spite of your nothingness. But your nothingness must have had a purpose. And when that purpose is exhausted, you will go back to being nothing. Beware your master. Beware your apprentice. Never be taken by surprise. Do these things. Thanks, ghosty dude. That's my new uncle. I'm gonna name you uncle. I don't care if you're an ancestor, you're now an uncle.
apprentice, do you have the artifact yet? <laughs> you wouldn't want to spoil a surprise now, would you? Oh, oh. oh I thought teasing me, apprentice. Hurry back to Scotia's. I mean, my chambers. I have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Now that's my little secret. Now hurry back with the artifact. I can't wait. Oh, I so hate her. I'm gonna have to put up with her for a very long time. Poor Cam. I just want her in my body like you. <sighs> oh, wait. God damn it. Ooh. This is your feel like getting asked for your help in clearing out chambers. The amount of sheer clutter in here is staggering. It would take me at least a week to sort out everything. Um, I dare say this is one less glamorous aspect of season arrivals power base. There's plenty of treasures to be found here, however, given your role in Demise, it's only fitting you receive some of the spoils of joy. Your Obdava will soon cease to be. Tari Dosa was taken in secret and has been unburdened for her heresy in the Dark Council. Even as we speak, an infiltrator is speaking to the Revenants in her place, laying the foundation for their eventual destruction. It is an old ruse, but a useful one. In the time of the Revenite camp, and so-called holy place will burn. Uh, continued appreciation for your efforts. May you continue to serve the Empire. Okay. Chambers are a treasure trove of research. Now, who would have thought a man like that had such a curious intellect? It almost makes me regret that we had to kill him. But I digress. I trust you were successful in the Dark Temple. Did you expect otherwise? Of course not. But tell me, how did you manage to pacify the apparition? The apparition seemed to think you'd betray me. Then that ghost is an idiot. I am not so stupid. You are my most valued apprentice. Now, I've been studying Tulak Horde's artifacts closely for some time, and one glance at this one you brought back confirms everything I suspected. These artifacts will change everything, apprentice. You especially. They will make you more powerful than you could imagine. I have foreseen it. Let me guess. You've been dreaming again. Always and ever. This artifact is one of five that together describe a peculiar ritual used by the great Tulak Horde when he conquered the Droman system. Until I have all the artifacts, I cannot understand the full nature of the ritual, but I have foreseen that you alone will wield the ritual's power. The artifacts are scattered across the galaxy, some hidden by Tulak Horde himself and some wrenched from his hands by betrayers. Documents and Scotia's effects point to Balmora and Nar Shaddaa, but I will need to do more research to locate the other two. Um, what do I do to get there? Ah, yes. That brings me to my surprise. If you're going to find these artifacts, you'll need a ship, and so I have ordered you one. All you need to do is pick it up. Just show me where to find these. You'll find your ship at the spaceport. Then, the galaxy is yours to explore. Don't forget to contact me when you reach each planet 
for more information on the artifact's locations. I will sell it. Mm, I'm going to me. Actually, I think I went to the wrong place. No, I did go the right way. Shush. Oh, shush, I had it yet. Patch. <laughs> She's so excited. She's like, oh, my ship.
don't draw it for this lesson. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. Uh, no. So I get a starship and a servant too. Not bad at all. I am relieved, uh, uh, pleased that you find me agreeable. I will never disappoint you, master. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Fury-class Imperial Interceptor, a versatile craft combining a starfighter maneuverability with armament to rival larger military vessels. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Stop selling me the ship and stay out of my way. I promise to limit all future conversation to essential information. Premature deactivation is not one of my directives. I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. We will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. Cool. Robot. Thanks. <sighs> cool. My power is greater than any of the fools that surround me. Jinasiwe cha alaise nam nadise. Ustapan I see jai in alam is frumadain hapans. Gamid is franchan kupainanan. Have you already forgotten about our honorable combat? Ni havashun is wis bai chukai we chans in hau manai. Ufar alese rekajeja. Rude. So rude. Right, so you want to see basically a video stream basically of less Stop the bump da bump bump da bump Stop it Stop it Yeah I know that Oh my god I am seriously gonna kill your computer to say is I'm gonna change character now. I'll oh, stream and then quickly come back on um, with my other character so we can try less stories. <sighs> Alright guys, I'll be back. Give me a second.